I'm Ahmad Ali Ahmad from Educare Institute and we proceed solving nectar questions and for this time we are going to solve civics from 4 nectar 2021 and our question is our question is question number 14 which reads early marriages ha, have been identified as the as a hindrance of of development of girl to potential to girl of a girl child potential in our society propose five solutions that can be employed to address the problem of early marriage it leads Early marriage have been identified as a hindrance of development of a girl child potential in our society. Propose five solutions that can be employed to address the problem of early marriage. Kwa mba hili ndo sole nitu la mdau, li nasema kwa mba, ndoa za mapema imekua identified kama ndo chanzo chakukwamesha mendeleo ya watoto wa kisichana, yani ya watoto wa kiki, I mean, katika jamii yetu sasa utumie oja tano kwa kuonesha solution utatuzi wa tatizo hilo la la ndoa za mapema ili kufanyaje kwa ku ensure the development of this girl children so what we are going to see in our main body is the solutions of age marriage and in answering this question we have to divide our work into three parts which is introduction main body and conclusion and in the introduction, we are going to see the meaning of key term of our question, which is early marriage. By definition, early marriage is the kind of marriage in, a, in which a person gets married under 18 years old. It is common among girl children. Kwa mba sasa hii, katika context yetu, au katika jamii yetu, ni hile ndoa ambayo mtu ana, anaoa au kolewa, akiwa na chini ya umli wa miaka kumina nane. Na hii iko common sana katika watoto wa kike. Unakuta anaolewa ataja fikisha umri wa miaka kumina nane. So that is early marriage. Ndoa ya mapema au ndoa za mapema. Early marriage is common among Tanzanian societies as many children, especially girl children, get married under 18 years old. This hinders their development. Sasa tunaona swala ndoa za mapema uh, ni common sana katika jamii yetu ya Tanzania. Mbapo tunaona kuna watoto wakike wanaolewa wakiwa na chini ya umri wa miaka 18 na hii inapelekea kukwamisha maendeleo yao so due to it is negative impacts to girl children in Tanzania early marriage need to be removed kwa sasa kutokana na negative impact za meli i mean early marriage ndoa za mapema kwa watoto wa Tanzania sasa hii ndoa za mapema zinabidi ziwe removed ziondolewe katika jamii and the following are the measures to be improved to address the problem of early marriage in Tanzania. I mean the, the following are the measures to be employed. Njia ambazo nabidi sasa tuzi chukue katika ku address the problem of early marriage in Tanzania. And the first one leads provision of education to the society. Kwamba itolewe elimu katika, katika jamii kusiana na nini na early marriage. Kwa fano itolewe elimu kusiana na ma negative impacts of the early marriage. There should be provision of education to Tanzanian societies about the drawbacks of early marriages to girl children so that people can stop it. Kwa sasa kunabidi kutoleo na elimu juu ya madhara ambayo ni hasi, madhara hasi ya ndoa za mapema au ndoa za ototoni kwa nani? Kwa watoto wa kike uh, so that people can can address the problem of early marriage in the society. For example, early marriage hinders girl children to get their rights to education. Kwa mfano sasa wa a negative impact of early marriage to girl children is unakuta mtoto wa kiki anakosa kupewa shuleni kwa ajili ya kupata elimu lakini baba anaamua kumuwezesha mtoto wake tu ili mradi labda apate something. So inakuwa inapelekea huyo uh, mtoto wa kike kukosa aki yake ya kupata elimu. Kwa watu wakielimishwa it's where we are going to end up this problem of early marriages in our societies. Also, establishment of gender desk in all parts of the country. Kuwepo kwa nini? Kuanzishwa na madawati ya kijinsia sehemu zote za nchi. I mean, katika, kwa mfano kabla kama ni vijijini, basi vijijini mule pawepo na au panzishwa na madawati ya kijinsia kwa jiri ya kusolve hizo issues za, za, za kijinsia ikiwe mwona nini? Na early marriage. There should be establishment of gender help desk 
in every resident within a country to help girls to report cases about early marriages. Kwa sasa, uh, kuna bidi yanzishu wa madati ya kijinsia katika makazi, kila makazi hapa nchini, ili wale watoto wa kike wanapokutana na matatizo wa ya early marriage, maybe anakuwa forced na mzazi wake ili, auleo mapema ili tu mzazi labda apate thamsing. So, yule mtoto haende kulipote katika hizo headers, ambazo zinadini na mambo ya kijinsia ili apate msaada. So, this is the one among the measure to address the problem of early marriage in Tanzania. For example, in the rural areas where early marriage is common. Kwa mfano sana sana katika maeneo yale ya ya lulo ambapo sana sana hizi early marriage ndio ziko common sana. So, there should be establishment of gender help desk in those areas to solve these issues pertaining to gender uh, gender discrimination like this early marriage. Also, Eradicating cultural practices which influences early marriages. Inability to ondoe zile cultural practices ambazo zinafanyeje zinapelekea ndoa za mapema. Yani kuna baadhi ya cultural practices, mambo ya kitamaduni yanafanyeje yana influence kuwepo kwa early marriages katika society. So there should be eradication of those cultural practices. Some cultural practices such as forced marriages and the bride price influences early marriage among Girls, kwamba tunaona baadhi ya mambo ya kitamaduni kama vile ndoa za, kuf, za kulazimishwa. Unakuta mzazi anamlazimisha mtoto bwana wewe saa hizi umefika umri wa kuolewa uolewe. Wakati mtoto labda umri wake hujafika. And pia kuna issue ya bride price. Hii pia inafanyaje ina, ina influence ili marriage. Unakuta mzazi anataka tu amuozeshe mtoto wake hata kama umri hujafika ili mradi apate pesa kwa kuwa yeye anafanyaje ana shida. So these cultural practices have to be eliminated so as to solve this issue of early marriages in the society. Uh, this is due to the fact that some parents force their daughters to get married early so that they can get bride price. Kwa mfano katika issue wa bride price. Makuta mzazi kwa kwa ye tu hana pesa. Basi mtoto waki ataka maana umri wa miaka kuminatano au bado ni mdogo ujafikia umri wa kuolewa. Ana mlazimisha olewe ili mladi tuye ya pate pesa ili atatue shida zake. So, there should be a dedication of this cultural practice which perpetuate uh, the issue of early marriage in the societies. Also, therefore these, uh, the, therefore these traditions need to be removed in order to reduce early marriages in Tanzania. Kwa mba sasa hizi tradition ziondo, ziondolewe au watu wache kuzipraktizi ili to solve the problem of early marriage among the Tanzanian. And another point leads Eradication of poverty. Kwamba tuondoe nini umaskini katika jamii. Poverty is major. Poverty of majority of Tanzanian influences early marriages among girl children, especially to those who live in the most rural areas. For example, parents tend to force their children to get married so that they can get money or any, anything valuable as a bride price. Sasa unakuta umaskini umaskini ni sababu moja moja wapo ambayo inasababisha kuwepo kwa ndoa za utotoni au ndoa za mapema among girl children how you find that uh, a parents do, maybe parents do not have hawana labda pesa kwa ajili ya ku solve tatizo fulani lililotokea la kiuchumi katika nyumba yao labda nataka wajenge nyumba au wafanyeje anything so unakuta sasa mzazi anamlazimisha mtoto wake get married so that apate ile bride price ili atatue shida zake ambazo yuko nazo. So, so in order to eradicate this early marriage inabidi kwanza to solve the issue of poverty ambayo majority of Tanzanian to now kwamba maskini watu wengi wa Tanzania ni maskini ambapo sasa hii umaskini unapekea the issue of early marriage. Kwa hiyo sasa ili to solve early marriage inabidi pia tupambane na umaskini kuondoa umaskini katika jamii. So this is another measure to fight against early marriage in a Tanzanian society. Also uh, therefore, there should be eradication of poverty so as to reduce early marriage in Tanzania, as we have already said. Also, the 50, 50 point leads to establishment of strong laws against early marriages in a country. Sasa kuanzishwe na sheria ambazo ni strong, ambazo zifaiti na ndoa za utotoni au ndoa za mapema katika jamii ya ki Tanzania. Finally, the Tanzanian government have to establish and implement strong laws against early marriages among girl children in order to reduce early marriages in Tanzanian societies. Kwa sasa tunaona kwamba uh, Tanzania, serikali ya Tanzania inabidi yanzishe sheria ambazo ni strong na ziwe implemented katika ku, ku solve this problem of early marriage among Tanzanian society. For example, 
parents of girl children who will get maldi before reaching 18 years old have to be sent to a prison. Kwa mfano sasa sheria inaweza ikawa hivyo. Wazazi wa mtoto ambaye ameolewa kabla ya umri wake kufika, umri wake wa kuolewa, inabidi wao wazazi wapelekwe maybe jela kwa ajili ya kufanyaje kufungwa labda inaweza ikawa hata miezi mitatu, miezi sita and whatever kulingana na uzito wa kosa yenyewe litakavyoonekana. So this is the one among the a law which might be established so as to solve the problem of early marriage among Tanzanian societies. And after seeing this part, we are now moving to, to the last part of our question, which is conclusion. It means, and here, a student may provide an relevant conclusion. For example, a student, a student can conclude by showing the negative impacts of early marriage among girl children in a society. Kosa sapa manafunza aneza, haka conclude namna yote ambayo anaona sahihi kwake lakini tu kwamba namna atakavyo conclude lazima iendane na kitu ambacho tumetoka kukidiscuss katika main boot kwa mfano mwanafunzi anaweza akaconclude kwa kuonesha a negative impacts of early marriage to girl children in the society kwa mfano anaweza akasema inapelekea denial of right to education among girl children so here student can conclude in any way so we are now moving to see the other related questions propose five solution that can be employed to address the problem of early marriage. Kwa mfano, hilo swali linataka upropose njia tano ambazo zineza zika fanya je zika solve tatizo la early marriage. Also, as a student of civics, assume you have been invited in your village meeting to provide a speech on the solutions of the prevailing early marriages in your village. Which ones will be your five points to solve the problem? Kwa sasa wewe, uashumu wewe, Yaani wewe kama mwanafunzi wa, wa, wa civics wa ulaia uashumu sasa ume ume umealikwa ume katika kijiji chako katika mkutano wa kijiji kutoa speech ambayo inahusiana na na kusolve tatizo la early marriage. Sasa zipi zitakuwa pointi zako tano? So this question relates with our core question that we have already covered. And here the, the list of points that a student may use to tackle the previous questions which is to, provision of education to the society, establishment of gender desk in every all parts of the country, eradicating cultural practices which perpetuate early marriage, eradication of poverty, establishment of strong laws against early marriage in a country. So this is the uh, example of points that a student may use to tackle the previous two questions and it is this point that we have already used to answer our core question. And this marks the end of this session. See you next session.